Hey everybody, Rick with Stumps, and I'm here today playing RimWorld, a colony simulator by Tynan Sylvester, and this is a game that I have not played yet. I did play the Learn to Play tutorial, but this is going to be a new experience for me. I've had quite a few people request that I play this game, and it's been pretty popular, so I'm looking forward to giving this a try. Uh, I'm going to choose an AI storyteller, and I was looking at these ones before, and it looks like this one is kind of a random storyteller. This one's kind of a chillax, hence the name chillax storyteller. This is the Cassandra Classic Storyteller, which uh, intrigues me because it says the AI Storyteller creates events like pirate raids, resource drops, or animal attacks, and Cassandra creates events on a steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension, so we'll start out easy, and it'll gradually get harder, and I think that's just our speed, and we need to choose a difficulty, and I'm going to go with the casual difficulty because it says for players on the first game or casual players who still want to challenge, and I am on my first game, so let's go ahead choose Cassandra and I guess the seed that we're gonna choose is called Carlos and we're gonna generate this now it looks like Aldib Hezi is the planet we're gonna land on and we're gonna choose a place that is flat and temperate so that that seems like a good area right let's select that site and okay we need to pick some people Kim Kim Figueroa uh, Suskind How Freya tail. It looks like Freya is wearing no clothes, so I'm gonna pass on you. I want somebody clothed, damn it. Uh, Austin Kamiko Kato. Kato Marsh? Kato Marsh sounds like a pretty good name. I say Kato Marsh it is. Okay, so the three of you awaken your cryo sleep sarcophagy. To the sound of sirens and ripping metal, you barely get to escape the pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, there's our pods crashing down. Okay, so we've got Marsh, Ida, and Christy. And I think the first thing I need to do is um, go ahead and unforbid items, right? So let's make sure that everything is unforbade here we go just real quick unforbading stuff um what else is forbidden these stones are now they're not uh these guys are also forbidden okay i, th I think that we've unforbade up oh, weapons there we go and okay now we need to choose we need to designate a zone right a stockpile zone so let's go ahead and make the stockpile zone right over here I think that'd be fine here we go stockpile zone and so you guys are gonna just start stockpiling stuff great good job and then next up we're going to build some walls let's go ahead and start building a little home here shall we where's a good place to build a home let's see let's oh my god is that a bear it's a grizzly bear holy mackerel okay we've got grizzly bears we've got ibex um, okay. We've got turkeys, obviously. I, I, I guess, you know, this is probably going to be a fine spot to build a house, right? Let's just build right here. Build it like this, and then... Like this, and over here. Like so, and there we go. And now we just got to slap a door on it so they can actually get inside. Perfect. That'll be our home. Now let's go ahead and look at our work, because I want to see who is assigned to construction. Oh, you all are. All three of you are assigned to construction. And it looks like Marsh is a nurse, so you're assigned to doctor. Okay, so Castaway Christie is a firefighter, a patient, bed rest, flick, hunt, construct, and repair. Ita is the builder, and all right. Looks like Marsh is pretty much doing it all, except for flicking. I don't know what flick is yet. Uh, what does this say? Flick switches. Okay, there we go. Uh, handle. Tame tree. Okay, that's animal handling. Okay, great. And plant cut, obviously. That's plant cutting. That's cutting plants. Okay, good. And so since they all construct, this should get done really quickly. So let's go ahead and start giving us some uh, beds, right? We, we need beds. Furniture. Here we go. Throw down three beds for you guys. Do we have a cat? Is that is that a cat there? Is that our cat? If that's our cat, then we need to make an animal sleeping spot, too. So there we go. Kitty's going to sleep over there. Let's go ahead and give us some light as well. Here we go. And we're going to need... Let's see. A stove as well. Where's the stove at? Production? Here we go. Fueled stove. 
There we go. Cool. All right. So now we'll just go ahead and speed this up. Let them build all this stuff here. Terrific. Look at you guys go. You're so productive. What are you doing, Christy? Just kind of stalled out there for a second. Kind of stroking off. Okay, building the roof there. Beautiful. All right. So that's done. Now what? Uh, mining, perhaps? Is that what we need to do next? Do a little bit of mining? Like over here, right? This limestone. How can I choose to mine all of it? Is there like a quick way to mine? Is this the quickest way? It's, it seems like there would be a quicker way, right? Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to start planting crops. So let's go ahead and make a crop zone. All right. Growing zone. Here we are. Um, and our growing zone, I guess, will be right out here. I mean, right here. Growing zone. How about that? Right here. And what are we going to grow here is the question. Um, how do I choose my growing? Let's see. Here we are. So we're currently going to plant potatoes. And I, I guess that's fine. We can subsist on potatoes, right? We're going to be potato farmers. What's this over here? What is this? Some kind of compacted machinery. What, what, what does that mean? Is this a building? It is a building. There are steel walls over here. Huh. All right, let's just go searching around here. Oh, there's another building over here with sandstone walls. There's, there's like remnants of another civilization. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Okay, let's see what else we can build here. So, structures. Okay, walls and doors. We know about that. Uh, beds. Oh, animal sleeping box is what I built. Okay, and we do have a kitty cat. It's sleeping right there. Its name is Yuka. Uh, we can build a comfy animal bed. Um, stool, table, armchairs, torch lamp. Okay, all these good things. Great, great, great. Uh, production. Let's see here. Sculptor's table, butcher table, hand tailoring bench, electric tailoring bench, uh, simple research bench. Okay, I built one of those in the tutorial. I should probably build one of those here, too. Because, uh... We're gonna want to research how to do things, right? I'm gonna speed up here. Let these sleepyheads sleep tonight. And it's weird that they sleep with their heads down here. <laughs> you would think that they would sleep with their heads up here. I don't know. This is future sleeping. I just don't quite understand it yet. Oh, you know what? We have guns. Um, I need to assign guns to these guys. So... Let's see here. Ita, I'm going to assign you a knife. How about that, okay? There we go. Christy, I'm going to assign you this gun. And Marsh, you're going to get the rifle. All right? There we go. Now, one of you guys is going to need to build this bench so that we can start researching stuff, all right? What's the cat going to do? It's just going to sleep all day. Shot by Marsh. Cannot hit target. Wait. Yuka was shot by Marsh? Why? What happened? There's something I don't understand about why Marsh shot our cat. Okay, so I made a stockpile area, but apparently I can make buildings to actually stockpile stuff, right? So, um, let's see. Stock so that's my stockpile zone. I should probably, like, actually put walls around it, right? So let's go ahead and make some walls around our uh, stockpile zone. That'd probably be a smart thing to do. Here we are. Walled up the stockpile zone, and I'm going to need to slap a door down. There we go. Perfect place for a door. Oh, our, our bench has been built, so now I could probably start researching stuff, right? So let's see here. Research. Um, we've researched batteries, complex clothing, nutrient paste, solar panels, air conditioning, and electricity. Now I need to research something new. Um, I'm just going to do stone... Uh-oh, uh-oh. What happened? A fire? Fire? What? Fire starting spree. Mental break. Who started a fire? <laughs> Eda Builder is on a fire starting spree? Excuse me. Why? No, don't start fire. What do I do? Oh, dear God. Um, I, I need somebody to put out this fire. Uh, 
what what jobs do I have? Work, work, work. Um, okay. Ida is not a firefighter. <laughs> she cannot fight fires. Uh, I'm going to need Christy or somebody to wake up, for God's sake, and start putting out this fire. Here. Go on. Yes, prioritize putting out the fire, for God's sake. <laughs> Why would you do that, Ida? You're still starting fires! Okay, she's going back to bed now. Apparently, she's... Gotten over her fire starting. For the love of God, put out the fire, would you? Oh, dear God. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. This fire, it's spreading quickly. And I can't have Ida put it out because she doesn't do that, apparently. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is real bad. This fire is spreading, and Ida's just gonna sleep while this is happening! I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Uh, my entire house is gonna burn down. Okay, it looks like they've kind of got it under control now, hopefully. Alright. So that's something that can happen in this game, huh? People could just get a little pyro crazy and start setting fire. Oh god, now my workbench is on fire? Oh, that sucked. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> all right, so, uh, why, why would she have a mental break and start setting stuff on fire? I don't know why. I don't know why that would happen. Oh, brother. Okay. Now I gotta rebuild these walls. Yeah, clean up your mess, Ida. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. Okay, so now I need to build a new research station, apparently. So let's go ahead and do that. Production. Okay. Hunter lacks range weapon. Uh, oh, who's our hunter? Okay. So, apparently the weapon that I signed was not a ranged weapon, so let's see. Who's our hunter? Hunter, 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 hunt. Uh, it is not March, and March actually has the rifle, so uh, let's see here. Can I, can I swap weapons? Let's see. Did I just put the... I don't want that over here. Cancel. There we go. Uh, let's see. March. Social gear. Here we go. Gear. Um, survivalist rifle. Drop. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to go to Christy. I'm going to have you drop the pistol, okay? And there we go. Now I'm going to have you pick up the gun, all right? And I'm going to have Marsh equip this, okay? There we go. Wait. Is that right? Yes, that works. Because Christy is a hunter. Oh, look at a llama. All right, um, so we still need that workbench, right? Is that is that going up? Anybody gonna build that? Here we go. I think once they finish building walls around our, uh, our zone here. Okay. Oh, wait, who's this? We got two new people? Todd and Trev. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Are, are these nice people? Are, are they going to join us? Mail Town Guard. Who are you guys? Mail Town Councilman of Chemist Town, age 60. They're just wondering. Okay. So, there's a place called Chemist Town. Interesting. Where's Chemist Town? Now I'm really curious to see. Wait a minute. If there's a place called Chemist Town... Then I imagine I can go raid Chemist Town and take over Chemist Town? <laughs> That's something that needs to happen. I mean, eventually. I, I don't think that we're in any position to do that just yet. And I wonder if I could kill Trev and Todd. I'm sure I could, right? There's probably nothing stopping me from doing that. Um, like, if I were to click here, Marsh, and then click on Trev, could I, could I actually do something? Like... If I were to draft them, drafted people take orders and fight. So, like, if I drafted him, try to arrest Trev. I could, he's a trafficker. I could try to arrest him. Um, Todd, too, who actually has a question mark. What's with the question mark, Todd? Okay, so awful with a steel shiv, good with a pistol. Um, you know what? Let, let's try to take them prisoner. There's three of us, two of them, right? Let's see. 
I'm, oh wait, oh, I can trade with you. Maybe I should trade with you instead, okay? Let's try trading with you first, okay? Ida, my little fire starter, come over here and try to trade with Todd. Okay, this is all the stuff that he has. Look at this. Nutrient, paste meal, simple meal, packet, survival meal, component, medicine, medicine, Malari block, go juice, triple rocket launcher. Ooh. Okay, well, all this stuff. Um, let's see. Do I have stuff to trade? I'm sure I do. Wait, is this stuff I have to trade? I'm trying to figure out... Oh, I see. I can trade him these things. Oh, yes. Okay. He doesn't want my cat. and He doesn't want our steel. But this is what he will give us for these things. So I have a triple rocket launcher. Where is it? All right. Should I arrest them before they run around? Uh, I'm going to try to arrest them. Cannot arrest. No, no reachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner marked bed. Oh, I need to build a, a prison. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and build a prison. So I'm going to undraft everybody now. And now we're going to need to build a prison. Okay, here's here's our prison area. This is where we will we'll be able to take people prisoner if we need to. Uh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Christy thinks that you should give this community a name. What should it be called? Um, I'm going to call it Ricksburg. There we go. Our colony now is a name. It is called Ricksburg. And uh, that, I think, is where we're going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, we had some... We had some thrills some spills some fires some visitors and next episode um i'm gonna go ahead and build this prison and uh, next time somebody comes along i think i might take a prisoner because uh you know what why not this is a mad max crazy rim world situation and uh, if i want to be a crazy person who takes prisoners uh, uh i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do what i want but here's what I'm not going to do is let Ita start setting fires whenever she damn well pleases anymore, all right? So anyhow, guys, uh, that has been the first episode of RimWorld. And forgive me if it seems like I don't quite know what I'm doing. I am going to get better at this game, and I'm going to get better with your help. So if you have comments, go ahead and drop them down below. Let me know uh, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what I can do better, and what you guys want to see from this playthrough. And if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I've been Rick with Stumpton, and I will see you next time.